Hey guys, it's Dwayna aka Glamazon 1026 and welcome to the Glam Room. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new, if you're an old friend, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate all of you guys. Today we are going to do a look that I was tempted or I was inspired to recreate after I went to the On The Run tour with Beyonce and Jay-Z. I had a really good time. I'll talk about that a little bit later after we get through the break. And I will see you there because I know you want to watch this tutorial because look how cute I look. Look how cute I look. Come on. I know you want to see how to get this done, right? Right, right. So last week, Thursday, it's exactly, I'm filming this a week after I experienced it. I went to the On The Run tutorial. I wasn't even supposed to be there. Every time I tried to buy my ticket, something happened. Reggie's car needed work, my car needed work. We had to pay like a random extra super duper bill or something like that. And I didn't want to put it on a credit card because, you know, I'm trying to like limit my spending and all that stuff and so I was just like you know what I'm just not gonna go and then a friend of mine Asante she had bought she had gotten tickets for her and her boyfriend to go and he wasn't able to come anymore so I was just telling her yeah I've just been having a rough time can't go to bed Beyonce guys there blah 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 she's like come with me and I was like word and she was like word and I started crying in the club y'all I was crying in the club me and Asante we went together and we met up with my friend Tren also, and we all just like were just, we just had a great time. And it was just amazing. And I'm so happy and thankful that I got to experience that. I don't know what I could do to repay her for her generosity because it was, it was a, we had a gay old time, okay? <laughs> anyway, we get there and we see Chloe and Hallie. They do really good. We see um, DJ Khaled, they do really good. They show in the crowd, people are dancing, we having a great time. Um, and then we, you know, waited for a little while, sitting down at nine o'clock, Beyonce and Jay-Z come out. And it is like, they ascend from the heavens on this like space elevator. And she just looks so angelic in her all white. And the first thing I noticed was her makeup. Okay, I was like, go ahead Beyonce, I see you with the glitter, I see. With the glitter. Anyway, today I did this look. I'm recreating her on the run glam. I have a picture. I have multiple pictures, but they all came up bad because I had, you know, I wasn't, you couldn't take a picture of her actual face. You had to take a picture of the big screen and they came out really blurry. I thought I was doing something, but it didn't. So I'm gonna put up some pictures that I got throughout the night when her makeup was like on demand, was live and on stage. And I'm gonna try and replicate that. I will see you guys after this little transition. And we'll begin this Beyonce inspired on the run to tutorial. I'm thinking this tutorial is going to be very easy because Beyonce is a gal of simple glam. It's simple, but it works. And I feel like it's cause like a lot of her outfits do the talking. So I think this is gonna be really simple. I'm taking the Carity Rosé All Day Palette and the Morph M433 brush and I'm picking up Drunchies, which is this one right here, and I'm going to put it in my crease and blend it out into my transition area. I'm just going back and forth over it now with the same brush, no extra pigment, just to soften out that harsh line that we had at the top. With that same brush, I am picking up Laheim and Salud. Um, and mixing them together and I am going to put that in the outer edges of my eye. In Beyonce's look, it's not really a darkness but there is some definition so I'm going to just put a light touch just to bring some definition to the outer corners of my eye. So I've taken my ColourPop No Filter Concealer and the NYX Multitasking Mixing Medium to make a paste on the back of my hand that I'm going to apply in order to make sure that my shimmer shades stick and stay. So with a flat shader, I am going in and I'm picking up Brute and I'm putting that right on top of the concealer and um, mixing medium mixture. Today we're going to be using shimmer and glitter. A good um, rule of thumb for when you're going to use glitter eyeshadow is to make sure you have a shimmer shade under it that's like it in color so that the glitter just like extra pops. 
I'm going back with my Morph brush and I'm just gonna pick up more of that Lacan and Salud just to blend these edges out. So now it's everybody's favorite time. It is time to put the glitter on. I am using the Ben Nye Glitter Glue with Super Glitter's Rose Gold Glitter to put on my eyes so that I can look like Beyonce or so I was inspired by Beyonce's makeup. How about that? That sounds better. I would never look like Beyonce, but that's okay because I look like me. So now we're just going to do the same thing that we did up top down at the bottom. I'm taking brunchies and just running that under my lower lid. You can't really tell on my pictures. I didn't realize how bad they came out, but Beyonce had a little wig. It was more like a, a wing that was drawn with a pencil and then smudged out. So I'm about to do that. I'm not going to do that on my lids because a pencil and glitter doesn't work well, but we're gonna do that on the sides and then bring it in and then I'm gonna use liquid for the rest of it. I put on the Kiss Faux Mink Lashes in the style Midnight because Beyonce had some lashes that kind of flared out. These are perfect for that. So we're zoomed out so that we can finish the rest of the face. It's not going to take long because everything else is pretty simple. She like did a little bit of glam on the eyes. Everything else was just like neutral. I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics Blush Brush and the Patrick Star MAC Collection Blush in Take Me Home. Let's roll it together and then put that on as some blush. Last but not least, like her highlight was popping. So I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade Molten Gold to add highlight to the bones, I mean to the high points of my face. And it was like really, really, just like popping, popping, popping. Like a lot more highlight than I would normally use. But I think that's because you probably had to see her from, like she wanted the back to see her. So she just highlighted to the gods. Beyonce's lip was pretty neutral too, so I'm going to be using the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Cork just to line my lips. In the center, I'm putting the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte in the shade Current Nude. On top of that, I'm using the MTF Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Serene. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I'm putting Beyonce up on the side now. Let me know how I did. Tell me in the comments if you went to the Yana Run 2 tour and if you liked it, like if it was a great experience for you, if you had as much fun as I did. Let me know. And let me know if you like videos like this, if you like me to do like replications of certain makeup looks. Let me know if you like that because I will definitely start inserting it more into the content that I create. Also, just tell me anything else that you want to see. If you want me to try a certain product, if you want me to, I don't know, dance with Titan, like whatever you want, I will do it. No, well not whatever, but you know, whatever. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like this video, please. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Put the notification bell on so you know when I'm uploading. And um, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Glamazon1026. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.